Hello guys, so today's video is going to be about antenna restrictions, HOA antenna restrictions and what you can do about it. So I got a notification from my HOA, I had put up an IMAX 2000, you know, just on a chimney mount and pretty small footprint in the air, but it is, you know, I am in an HOA currently and uh, it, it is a two-story home. So these are homes and uh, the houses are pretty far apart, but it's still an HOA. So they, you know, reasonably, they're, they're going to do this. They're going to see an antenna. They're just going to send you a letter. They don't know. They think it's CB. They don't know what it is. Ham radio. They don't, they don't know. They just, they send you the letter, but here's something you can consider doing. So a friend of mine, ham radio operator told me, Hey, you know what? You might want to use PRB one. I used it and it worked. So what is PRB one? So it's this memorandum uh, from the FCC. You can check this out. So the main thing is, I mean, there's a lot to it, but the main thing is what uh, really stands out is this part. The ARL acknowledges that local authorities can regulate amateur uh, installations to ensure the safety and health and persons in the community, but believes that those reg uh, regulations cannot be so restrictive that they preclude effective amateur communications. So the key is also that you got to be, a, uh, you know, an amateur radio operator. So for me, this is my cover letter in response to them. So hello, ABC, the person that is, you know, the person that sent the letter to me from the HOA. This is in response to the antenna notification for my address. The FCC rules allow reasonable accommodation for licensed amateur radio operators. My call sign is blah, 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 and have been licensed for over 25 years. The antenna installed has a very small visible footprint and I have made it a point to follow what is described in PRB1 attached. Note, the reason FCC does this is because if an event of an emergency, amateur radio can be the lifeline and only communications in major emergencies. If you have any other questions, let me know. So you can see this is this is the first thing you can do if you and you got to be reasonable. Like, you know, if you, you can't be say I'm thinking here. You can't put up big antennas, beams, and towers and stuff, but a small antenna for reasonable communications. This is what you can do uh, to combat HOA. Now, does it is it the end all be all? Will you, you know, will you just send a letter and you never hear back? Success. Well, I haven't heard back myself. My fellow Ham who told me about this, he uh, was successful in this, and I talked to one other guy. He also did this and it worked. But you know, if you live in an apartment type, condo type place, and you're putting up even an IMAX 2000, it might be too much antenna for even a, like a small area. It really kind of depends. But anyway, this is an idea. Um, let me know what you guys think. I'm, I didn't even know about this PRB1. So I think it was great that um, I was notified about this from fellow hams. So one thing to consider though, you know, if you are just using CB, you know, CB is just, you know, from the outsider's perspective, just a hobby. So if you don't have your amateur radio call sign, this is maybe an incentive to go get it. It's not hard to get. And, uh, you know, it, it lends for much more credibility when it comes to, uh, you know, having, you know, this kind of thing. You want to get your amateur radio call sign in that letter. So anyways, hope you guys uh, like the video about this and um, tell me what you guys think, maybe in the comments um, and uh, your success in dealing with HOAs. Like I said, I think if you're reasonable, you don't put a big antenna, be an eyesore, be respectful. Um, and then use this. Maybe, maybe that's all you need to do. Um, so yeah, please comment. Okay. Guys, hope, hope you guys like the video and, uh, subscribe guys. Take care.